Hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe for more quality content. We've still got these limited edition, tournament edition t-shirts on sale for you guys. Feel free to pre-order them in the links down below. What's up Card Lord Boards? It's Craig here coming at you with a deck profile for arguably my most played favorite as deck ever, uh, True Draco. So we'll get up to the main deck first. So first we play three, avoid those hand traps. So I'm gonna watch as like Majesty's Fiend. He cannot be special summoned, and when he's on the field, monsters cannot activate their effects, so they can't Ash, Droll, Ogre, or anything to stop your plays. And then at the end of the turn, it bounces back, and you can get your effects from your monsters. Then for the True Dracos, we play three Maiden, because it adds all your worms, the one Ignis, because it's at one, and the two Masterpiece, because it's a brick, but still a win condition. You always want to search Masterpiece, you never really want to open it very often. So we only played it two, and he's indestructible, he does all your stuff, it's very strong. Now for the spells, three Disciples, three Heritage. We wanted to max out on both of these, because we're playing Desires, we didn't want to banish too many of them. The Disciples cut, bump back to three, is very important because it uh, recycles all your resources after you've Desires. So you only play so many monsters and you really need to recycle them to keep grinding. So we play three disciples. Then we played three of best card in deck. Uh, card in demise is the reason this card deck can function as a deck. Card in demise draw three is like probably arguably one of the most powerful cards in the game and definitely the most powerful card in the deck. So we played a three. Then we played three diagram and three more diagram. Uh, you gotta search all your pieces that you need when you need them and so diagram is very important it's your generic searcher for the deck so it's very good and very important then we play duality and desires if you need more draw power you gotta see all your combo pieces all your traps everything so you gotta play as many draw cards as you can fit we didn't want to play three duality because we would find that we would duality and demise and desires into more dualities and they would clog and break so we cut it down to two regeki stormforth very powerful i apologize for the cough i'm extremely sick right now uh stormforth is out the card oh that's a really nice untargetable, unkillable card you have there. It'd be a shame if somebody tributed it. And Regeki's clears boards. There's a play where the Pendulum Magician player will establish their board of like three negates and you summon Aminowata, they can't negate anything and then you Regeki clear their board and they're like, oh, well, game two. Very, very powerful. You also can't use Masterpiece Effect if He's unaffected, but unless if he's unless he's unaffected by monsters, you can't use masterpiece effect to pop with Amino on the field. Yeah, but he bounces back to your hand. No, I know, but yeah. it comes up. It comes up more more than you think. <laughs> now for the traps. We play three apocalypse, three return. The reason we play apocalypse at three and not return is because returns at one. There is no reason return is the best one. Call the Haunted is strong, and call the haunted every turn is very strong. It really helps you grind with this card. But it's at one, so rip the dream. Apocalypse has a nice secondary effect to pop a true Draco card and half attack. You can do this in damage calc, so you can like, your opponent goes to attack and you can half their things. You can also pop the traps to pop monsters and pop the spells to pop spells. So it like helps you out boards. It's really powerful. So this is my spicy addition to the deck. Waterfall of the Dragon Souls. I love this card i feel like this card like nets you advantage it helps you grind it helps you when they droll or water uh, ash you it helps you play through things so this these two cards together are like a free monster on board on your opponent's turn so you get a pop and then you can like search maiden or ignis and which can give you advantage which is really good also you build your board with like multiple monsters they go to evenly you you flip waterfall and you can add all those resources to your hand so your waterfall has an effect where it adds a worm from your deck to your hand or you can send any number of worm type monsters from the field or your hand and then draw from your deck that many plus one so if you have two maidens on board you send them away because you're about to get evenly matched and you draw three so it's really powerful and then Generic traps win the game, right? 
So one judgment, because it says no to evenly matched and pretty much anything. Uh, two monarchs erupt because monster effects are good. Anti spell because pendulums are good. And then storming mirror force. Shout out to Team Samurai X1 and then by extension Hanko for showing us this tech. This card blows out Invoked Mech Knight. So Invoked Mech Knight, they attack and they attack and they attack and that's it. But this blows it out because it like gets rid of their whole board, which is really powerful and saves you for a turn. And they don't really have anything to play around Mirror Force because they have no back row clear unless they side. And they also have no traps, so Makaba can't negate. And they also have no traps, so Makaba can't negate. So Mirror Force, really powerful. All right, now off to the side deck. Going second, the Kaiju. Ross Fear Mode is very powerful. It helps out your opponent's boards. It just... Oh, all your nate gates are gone. Miss me with evenly matched and Trickster Reincarnation, the card. Uh, Royal Decree is very powerful. A lot of back row is very powerful right now because Torrential's at three and Storming and all back row is very powerful. So Royal Decree says no to all of that. Two Cosmic Cyclone because back row again is bad. One Dark Hole because front row is bad and we play the Regeki. Three D Barrier because Pendulums are good. The other Strikes because generic traps are good. And then two more Floodgates that blow decks out. Alright guys, that's been the deck profile for Pure True Draco. Like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing deck profiles and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, styling no, dissing but got pictures with me smiling no, all the things you need you still want problems though, all the things I know I still been silent though.